Hello there, this is one up in the end. Welcome back to another VFX video tutorial and let's do some fancy schmancy stuff with health bars. So first of all, I'm going to show you how you can actually do this health bar because this is a dynamic one. So you can make it longer, no problem. And then we do a little thing which is dynamic masking, which you've seen in another tutorial of mine which surfaces but if you say i don't like your surfaces then you can actually do this without it has some quirks so here this thing is good for a few things but yeah you will find out of course you have to watch the video so this part fancy schmancy uh, uh xp uh, well health bar and then well a pretty sweet overlay which of course you can adjust or do whatever you like this is just a quick and dirty thing so stay tuned this is one up indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky source and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you are new here and you definitely want more consider subscribing to my channel because i try to upload every second day or every day a video now on my second day and share my stuff that would be amazing and sweet so i can actually grow a little bit more and eat the world so let's go into the good stuff because you came for the fancy schmancy stuff at least i hope so you came for that so how does that stuff work because here let's go here we go into a topic which is called dynamic rendering mask and you're thinking oh this is the super advanced crazy uh, crazy 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 stuff well kind of yes and kind of no because I'm not sure if that stuff actually works if you ex well make an accessible to of your game so basically if you finish your game and make uh, a real version because here you use a thing which is called alpha test enable and that thing and I am not sure if this will work in a full game I guess so but here I cannot say if it does and if it does have some conflicts with other systems in place but here you well they put it in here so i guess this is a thing let's go into it so this away and how does the first of all the hp bar work quite easy for that you just need a few pieces the left piece the right piece then a background piece which is this guy here and then what we do because they all have just one pixel we stretch it and therefore because it has one pixel it is pretty convenient and we can just stretch it out as much as we like because well one pixel and then let's say you are using draw uh, sprite extent then you just use the image x scale of let's say hp is five so this thing has a width of five as well which is pretty sweet then this little sneaky guy is just the glass which we draw over everything. Did I say over everything? I meant over everything, which is just glass, which you see. This is just a neat little effect. You don't have to do this, no problem. And then, well, uh, reddish HP bar, which is the actual HP. And then a yellowish one, which is a pixel, which is a width of uh, one pixel as well. And of course, all of them have the same height of 16 which is making this quite convenient. And this is how I can actually set it up. Let's, hopefully I did kill the SS player. So what do we do first? Now, first of all, we just want to draw our HP bar. So for that, I just draw it. We just put this object in there. I just draw the left part. So once again, the left thing here. Ugh too many windows okay let's kill all of them because this is annoying and we just have that open which we need then of course in the end our right part and how can we distinguish well i just say hey this thing needs to be drawn at the x position of our hp which is our max value so let's say for example we have 100 but the hp can be i don't know between 0 and 100 so hp max and then plus six why plus six because well, the first part is uh, has a thickness of uh, well it has a width of six pixels and therefore every time you see plus six plus six plus six this is just so you actually start the drawing because what do we do 
we just have this thing and from this point on this is plus six pixels we start drawing our hp bar the background which is this guy here the glass everything so therefore plus six so don't be confused here and then we need to draw well the inside kind of which is the dynamic part so first of all the background part so this guy here stretched and how much do we want to stretch it because here image x scale so draw sprite extent we just give it the hp max value this is i guess 100 or whatever 100 yeah 100 um yeah and this is the image x scale which is very very practical in this uh well constellation because everything is relative and you can place it wherever you like and it should draw pretty sweetly then we need two hp bars one which is following so if you have seen my other um, tutorials on uh, well hp bars the advanced version then you will i guess recognize that stuff so relative hp is just being lurped between the actual one so okay so it does follow up so this is how that works but i guess i don't want to bore you with that stuff because actually you come from the for the fancy fancy stuff which is the masking so we have the behind we have the follow hp bar which is the yellow one and then the actual one which is well as you can see image x scale once again the hp and this one's being just relatively assigned all the time so it can catch up and then over that we just draw a draw on the full length like the background this glass thingy and for example once we started you will see uh, all the parts together it's not too difficult so basically left part right part then we can subtract a little bit which i just do on my mouse button so don't be confused by this so here yellow one is catching up relative then as you can see this is above the glass part which is looking kind of neat this is a nice effect i think but of course this is additional you want to have then one the background one pixel being stretched from this point to the right easy peasy and this is how it works no problem with that so let's go into the other stuff because here we have a few things to discuss because this is now the really hardcore stuff for you so let's begin um uh, what is this stuff so here first of all um i have my little fancy fancy animation which is just one thing up uh, i just cut that part out and just have one zero one two three four and this is just basically it and if you see it in the where are you in the sprites this is the whole animation yay if you're thinking this looks kind of thin because here if we zoom in a little bit we're having one pixel but then we have some little glow to the left and to the right and that thing is not being taken into account so this is the negative part so if you have been wondering what i meant at the beginning why the masking is suboptimal maybe you can fix it i'm not sure maybe there is a way now i'm going to show you where you can actually find the fixable part then well give it to me because i'd like to know as well because this is actually an interesting alternative way how you do the masking so how does this work in the start so first of all we are let's go to the theory we are drawing a rectangle so you fill it we fill it up bam 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 so this is an invisible rectangle then we draw another thing which is the mask and this mask is cutting out you don't want mm -hmm. okay let's that was suboptimal so let's make another layer my bad so let's let's make our invisible mask so we fill it up bam 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 now we can be smart and do something like this <gasps> yeah this doesn't look too good uh <laughs> No, let's not do this and then <laughs> after we make our invisible um, rectangle we make a mask where we can actually draw and only there we can draw so here we cut out from this thing this area and in this area we can actually draw our got those our smileys our pink elephants whatever you want to draw everything is being can be drawn inside here so this is the idea behind it 
and as simple as it sounds now we come to a little bit more uh, advanced stuff so if you just wanted to know the theory have a good night <laughs> for all the other ones this is getting a little bit more well heavy so the first thing is we disable the blend modes because we are drawing something then we disable our channels of GPU set color right in Apple just says hey we want to disable and enable channels so this is red green blue and the alpha we're just enabling our alpha channel then we say hey we want to draw something with an alpha of zero so basically we are drawing an invisible rectangle an invisible rectangle which is quite big then we check the, the do our mask so we draw over it with a, a pass op opacity of one so draws that alpha of one our mask here this is just basically a stripe which is white and i stretch it out how much on the image x scale once again on the hp because we just want it to be relative to our actual hp this is just basically it then you could put in some values if you like um then we enable our blend mode again and then we say hey we can have everything uh, back to normal so all the channels plot the alpha channel are back in swing and here because here this part was just making the rectangle and cutting out the mask so this is just the way the masking works um, and then we can only draw on this part which is the important part so okay and then what well, he says draw only over the mask and this is basically what we do we go into GPU set blend mode extend and that thing is a real uh, how can I call it fun to play around with not really but I guess this is some advanced stuff so you're having an input blend mode and an output blend mode so here you can mix and match and get different results um, not sure what I can do with this little illustration no idea so if you're confused <laughs> welcome to the team uh, yeah and then we take uh, the destination alpha as an input and in this an output we do the destination inverted alpha and this is basically how we can actually get from the whole masking the end result but here it will crop out the um, the colors and all that stuff and therefore they are not being in here and therefore you you cannot uh, have as far at least as I checked uh, have gradients because here If we go into a few seconds into the stuff, it doesn't work. And then, of course, we say GPU set alpha test enable, and you can set it to true. And this thing, once again, not sure if that stuff does work. This function may negatively affect performance on Android, Windows, phones, so or on phones. Maybe there you can get some stuff. And you can cut off and on things. Um, not sure about this, but I guess you have to put it in here. So I cannot give you some great details about this, but this is, I guess, true. Um, some some necessary step. Then later on you disable, and then you go to normal blend mode. So everything works correctly after that. And then you just draw the stuff you want to draw over your masking stuff, which you do, did in this part. And this is just basically uh, my animation. This is this little guy here. As you can see, one pixel here, and then just some feathering, or just not feathering, but just, just some glow on the outside and when we do this this happens and this is the interesting part because it lets me get a little bit longer that thing will it's just one animation it's getting stretched to the total width of and this is the interesting part only of our HP but of course you want to have it as a background thing and then you would do it and they are all just on the full thing then you don't adapt it but of course there are different ways how you can do this if you like so for example you can have a background animation here as well a second one and one just for the red part no problem everything works in unison but let's say for example you don't want to, it to be stretched because what i do draw draw sprite stretched and then well you need the width this is the hp you don't want this then we can actually have a loop and just draw separate ones just a few ones 
because I put a 32 because well it has a width of 32 and just say 15 times 5 is I guess enough for this as well because this is 100 pixels so oh, yeah this could be fitting in and now you can see it will all dynamically go of course normally this is drawing over it I guess to this point or even longer but because we masked it it only sticks around to the place we masked and this is the great and interesting or good part about this masking thing but let's say for example we zoom in as you can see there is no gradients there is no variation here so here just keep that in mind and of course if you want to have it a little bit more transparent or less transparent then you change the value here draw set alpha for the mask or here and then you say hey i want it to be like one so like full hardcore on it then it goes full hardcore on it as you can see whew, this is really sweet or you can change it up so hopefully that was sort of comprehensive comprehensive for you and of course um, you need to uh, what i did artificially cycle because well if you're drawing them something the image index is not uh, cycling here therefore i uh, do a thing which is artificial with an alarm and the alarm just will reset every 10 steps and then bam it will cycle through all those image indexes which are there so hopefully that was a comprehensive guide to you and you can use that thing of course link in the description to the official site as well so you can actually see here and then maybe to make it a little bit more interesting so let's put in this thing which i did so here masking do, 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 do. yeah so you can see once again the masking part and the not masking part so for example here what you're seeing here this is actually the mask Ooh. oh oh <laughs> interesting uh let's kill you because this was interfering with the other one i actually wanted to show you because um, the masking can be something which is you can see this thing fills up uh, this specific image and what i did i just draw myself so the red thing and then the animation and then the animation just goes over it but as you can see uh -huh, this is the invisible rectangle and then we cut into in the invisible rectangle just with this sprite which is called mask because this is the mask and this is just sitting here and then everything which is animating is just animating inside which is looking kind of neat so for those kind of animations this is pretty sweet if you just uh, want to have one color overlay or something which um, has some pixel art so no gradients no softness then this is pretty sweet and then what well, you can kick out um, what can you kick out you can kick out uh, surfaces because here you don't need them so if you don't like surfaces for whatever reason well here yeah go so hopefully that was of interest to you and have a good night because it's quite late have a good one one up indeed